I thought I'd make a tutorial for this tank top. Oh, the cat's attacking me. She stole the shirt. It's really easy. It's just these hexagons, which I'll show you how to make. And then you join them all together. And you have a shirt. Um, it takes, for, for my size, 20 hexagons. For this new top I'm making, I just grabbed my scraps. All my little balls. Because this project is perfect for scraps. You're also going to need a 5mm hook. Some scissors. A tapestry needle to weave in your ends. And whatever color you want for your border and straps. And I'm probably going to do white. Okay. So I'm going to take my first color. And I'm going to make my magic ring. And now we have our loop. Now we're gonna do a chainless double crochet, which I like better than just chaining two as a double crochet. And to do that, I'm gonna make my loop as tall as I want for my double crochet, wrap my yarn in the front, holding it steady through the hole, pull up a loop, pull it under that, and then pull it through these little loops. There's tutorials on YouTube for that, but that's going to be my double crochet. You could also chain two if you want. Then you're going to make 11 more double crochets in the hole. Then you're going to grab that string, pull your hole tight. You should have 12. And then that chainless double crochet top loops you're gonna slip knot into either the top of your chain two or the top of your chainless double crochet and you can't even tell which one is the one I started with that's why I like the chainless so much chain one cut your yarn all right I've got my new color so that was round one of the hexagon now I'm going to join in any stitch with my new color, tie a knot, smug back through, pull up a loop. For this round, we're going to start off with chaining two. Do a double crochet in that same stitch and then chain one. Now in the rest of them we're going to do a cluster. You're going to yarn over, stick your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two. That's half a double crochet. We're going to do that again. So yarn over, put it through the hook, pull up a loop, Chain two, so now you have the beginning of two double crochets. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through three. Chain one. And repeat that all the way around till you have 11 more, well, 10 more clusters. All right, after I made my last cluster, chain one. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top. There's our chain two. Here's the top of that first double crochet. And chain one. Cut your yarn. All right, go ahead and take your next color. We're going to tie it on in the, in the spaces of one of these. Pull up a loop, and 
In the first stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. I'm going to do chainless again. Chain two in that same stitch, two more double crochets. Two double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat this part, these two steps, all the way around. So in the next stitch, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Next stitch, two double crochet. And we'll just repeat that sequence around, and it'll be six times for the six points of our hexagon. And then when we're done there, we're gonna find the first little double crochet, the chainless one we made, or the top of a chain two. Slip, slip stitch, chain one, and pull my yarn through. For now, you can leave these, but you're going to need at least 19 more. 19 if you're making the small size, and if you're making any bigger than that, I, I don't know, but you'll need more than 19. So, I have... 16 squares here. This one I have to hide the ends. I'm going to show you how I do that. So for the ends, I've gotten lazy in taking a needle and like actually weaving them in. For certain projects, if I can, I'll just tie a knot. So, I'll take the two colors, tie an X, and then for the second half of that knot, instead of just wrapping it through the hole once, I wrap it through the hole twice. And then I pull it tight. And then I'll cut that. Just leaving tiny little tails and you won't be able to feel it you're not going to be able to see it either and it's just a whole lot quicker oh you're so silly and she takes it with her i'm going to start the process of sewing these together i'm just going to cut a decent size piece give the the cat the rest. Oh, okay. Okay. Messed that up. Okay. I need this piece. No, you have your own. And I'm just going to start on this one. I'm going to go through the back. Leave a tail for later. And I'll sew it. So I'm doing an invisible stitch. I've never done this before. But basically what you do is you're gonna go through the center where these two teardrops join. Kind of in the middle of each teardrop. And then I'll do it on this side. And that hides it really well. So I'll go 
the next teardrops. Through the center. And I'm just going to do that all the way until these two are connected. So I finished this and we're being attacked again. Anyway, I've connected these two. So now I'm going to take this next one here and I'm going to connect it along this side. Okay, it's all joined, at least at this side. And you can hardly see it. I love it. So now we're going to take this one, and I'm going to join it at this side. And then I'll probably go down and fasten off. Just join them the best you can until you have a nice sheet of this. This is probably the most tedious part of the whole shirt. So, good luck. All right, finally, after like an hour and a half, I have joined all of the pieces. So the last step is to do an outline around the outside in your chosen color, and we'll make the straps. So you're going to tie your yarn on, I'm going to tie mine, tied it on to the corner of my side where the strap is going to be, and we're just going to do single crochets all the way around, and we're going to do three in the corner. And I'm going to put one single crochet in each stitch. Once I get to the top, we're going to do one single crochet. We're going to do another one. Then we're going to chain as long as you need your strap to be. So this is gonna go around your neck. Okay, I chained 65, and then you're gonna single crochet back down that strap you just made. Okay, I finished my last slip stitch. Now I'm gonna put a single crochet in the corner Finishing the strap, and then single crochet down and across. When you get to the valley here, I'll show you what to do. I'm going to put one in this little hole here, in the little chain two space. And then I'm going to skip to the next chain two space. And then I'll continue putting single crochets in each stitch. When I get to the corner, put three and then continue all the way around. So when you get to the top of this one, you're going to do the same thing that you did here. And you're just going to go all the way around. You only need the two straps. And then slip knot and fasten off. Alright, so I did that. Now the final step is we're going to have a lace up back that laces through these tips here. One, two, three. So you're gonna have to chain a bajillion. And, but honestly, just put it on, chain a really, really, really long string, 
weave it through, make sure it fits, and chain more if you need to. And then same thing, slip stitch back along it. Okay, so I've got my string done. I'm going to stick it through this first corner on each side. And then I'm going to take this one and cross it in here. So I stuck it through that one and that one. So I'm going to cross one more time. So I'm going to stick it through this bottom corner. And here's the back all laced up. Alright. Here is the finished top. And there we go. Um, I hope you enjoy. This top is actually really comfortable. I hope you make one. If you make one, uh, tag me on Instagram. I'll have it in the description, but I would love to see them. Bye!